morning everyone! Welcome to First Baptist Church Children's Sunday School Online Program. I wish you always fine and be blessed. And now, it's time for us to start our Sunday School Program with worshiping our Lord together. He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the whole wide world in his hand. He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got the sun and moon in his hand. He's got the sun and moon in his hand. He's got the sun and moon in his hand. He's got the whole world in his hand. He's got you and me. He's got you and me. In his hand, he's got you and me. In his hand, he's got the whole world in his hand. Our Father in heaven, thank you for all your blessings given to us so that. We can come to you today in our Sunday School online class. We need your help, Lord, to understand your words. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Children, it is probably safe to say that each of you has been to the zoo at least once in your lifetime. Visiting the zoo is a common field trip experience in elementary school. Family enjoys trips to the zoo during the warm summer months and even in the cold winter months too. And checking out a zoo in a different city is often highlight for kids and families on vacation throughout the country. What are some of your favorite zoo memories you can write down on the column commentary below zoo all over the world work very hard to create environment for the animals that allow them to live much like they would if they were in the wild instead of having the animals in concrete pens or metal cages, zookeeper work with scientists and veterinarians to create habitats that meet the needs of each animal in their care. It can be zebra, giraffes, and elephants. Let us now watch the San Luis Zoo as they have the area of the zoo mate to look like the African savanna. You can also see the Brookfield Zoo in Illinois that built a tropical world exhibit that is much like the rainforest. All kinds of monkeys from South America, Africa, and Asia live there. One more place that we should see now is the Alaska Wildlife Conservation Center in Portage. Over there, visitors observe moose, bison, caribou, and brown bears in their natural habitat. Caring for animals is an important and difficult job. Now imagine thinking through the needs of an entire zoo full of animals. What the zookeepers have to do? And imagine what it would be like to think of those details for every single animal on earth. We cannot begin to fully grasp the challenge and yet that's exactly what happened. 
God made every little thing and put it exactly where he wanted. Each one has a specific purpose. Let's take a closer look the purpose of God's creation and how he expects us to be purposeful in caring for his creation. And God said, Let the water teem with living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the vault of the sky. So God created the great creatures of the sea and every living thing with which the water teems and that moves about in it, according to their kinds, and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and increase in number and fill the water in the seas and let the birds increase on the earth. And there was evening and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, let the land produce living creatures according to their kinds, the livestock, the creatures that move along the ground, and the wild animals, each according to its kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals according to their kinds, the livestock according to their kinds, and all the creatures that move along the ground according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created mankind on his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. Then God say, I give you every seed-bearing plant on the face of the whole earth and every tree that has fruit with seed in it. They will be yours for food. And to all the beasts of the earth and all the birds in the sky and all the creatures that move along the ground, everything that has the breath of life in it, I give every green plant for food. And it was so. God saw all that he had made and it was very good. And there was evening and there was morning, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were completed in all their vast array. By the seventh day, God had finished the work he had been doing. So on the seventh day, he rested from all his work. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it, he rested from all the work of creating that he had done. So guys, no matter where we look, we can see a purpose and a plan for each part of God's creation. Nothing that God made was an accident, a mistake, or out of his control. He knew what animals would need in order to live and grow. And he provided food for the animals to eat 
and home where they could live. In the same way, God's creation provides our needs as well. Each piece of creation, the light and the dark, the sun, moon and stars, the land, the water and sky, the birds, fish and animals, the people, was put into place exactly the way God wanted to. Today's lesson reminds us of responsibility God gave us in caring for His creation. Our memory verse today is taken from Psalm 8 verse 6. Let us read together. You made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet. There are countless ways that we can be obedient to God and care for His creation. Many things we can do to care for creation in a simple but powerful way. Each part of His creation, from the biggest whale in the ocean to the tiniest buck flying through the air, was created for a purpose as a part of his perfect plan. We are a part of his plan as well. Created with purpose, created to love and glorify our creator, created to care for his creation. Take to the heart what God asks of us in caring for creation. Look for ways that you can make a difference. Be purposeful in finding ways to keep our world beautiful. And pray for God to give you a heart that strives to show love and concern for the people He created. Holy 
give thanks because he's given Jesus Christ his son give thanks with a grateful heart give thanks to the Holy One give thanks Jesus Christ, His Son, and now, let me say, I am strong. Let the poor say. Dear God, thank you for the beautiful world you gave us. Your purposeful design is seen everywhere we look. Nothing you made was by accident. Nothing you made was a surprise. Thank you, Lord, for creating us with a purpose and an opportunity to love you by caring for your creation. Help us, Lord, to be purposeful and intentional as we look for ways to care for the earth, the plants, the animals, and each other. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining our Children's Sunday School class online. See you next week. Have a blessed Sunday.